Question, can you really burn fat that easy? Answer, yes you can. Here are my five simple and easy tips to burning that pesky fat and getting super shredded for this spring. just because I typed these out and I think it's better than just going off of what was in my head a couple weeks ago. First and foremost, tip number one. Uh, biggest piece of advice I could offer you is to track your calories and your macros. You will not burn fat and you will not lose weight if you're not in a caloric deficit. I can tell you this is the case no matter what. That means weigh out your food, measure the volume, keep track of servings, everything. The best way to do this is to download MyFitnessPal, find out how much you weigh, how many pounds you want to lose per week, and it will calculate it for you how much you need to eat based on your activity. Super easy, super simple. I've been doing my fitness pal for 401 days, starting my third cut on it. I've gotten ripped every time. I will put up photos for proof. Second tip. This fits hand in hand with the first one. Log your food before you eat it. It doesn't help if you just use my fitness pal and just log everything and still keep eating everything. Okay, it's not gonna work. You don't know how much a snack like cashew is gonna affect you. A couple handfuls, that's a couple hundred calories. So if you log beforehand, you'll know just how much you're able to eat and just when to stop, okay? So that way you don't go like eat a bunch of cashews and then go log it and you're like, damn, I blew my calorie goal for the day. Just make sure you log before you eat, guys. I can't tell you how much this has saved my life. You know, before I go into a restaurant, I log exactly what I'm thinking about getting, see if it can fit in there. If it can't, I don't get it. If it can, I have some fun. So log before you eat, it'll help you tremendously in the long run and save you a lot of stress. Number three, my third tip is learn how to intermittent fast. This is something I always thought was kind of silly, like anorexia or something, but it's not. It's got science behind it. There are plenty of tests and studies. I've tried it myself. And once I started using intermittent fasting, that is when my cutting got to a whole new level. That's when it really took off and I was able to get leaner than I had ever been. Imagine going to sleep. Unless you're an outlier, most of us don't eat in our sleep. So that's eight hours. But say you didn't eat for two to four hours before bed. Okay, well that's like 10 to 12 hours. Then you go to work and you don't eat until like around lunch or dinner. That's 16 to 24 hours. As long as you sleep or work most of it, and stay busy. It's kind of easy to just pass a tremendous amount of time if you're working and sleeping where you might have otherwise eaten. You count the weeks and the weeks break down day by day and you just remove a day's worth of calories. Caloric deficit for the week has just, you know, it's just dropped tremendously. Now you can use that to be in a larger deficit if you want or in some cases maybe you want to have a cheat day the next day. Sometimes I fast up until a refeed meal when I know I'm going to be eating some calorie dense foods. Guys, learn how to intermittent fast. It's really easy. It'll really help you out. You'll see the fat just burn right off. Super simple. Uh, so I suggest looking it up. There are different ways like circadian rhythm or like 16 hour fast. You don't want to do it like all the time, but you know, learn how to use it to your advantage. It's a really, really helpful tip and technique. Tip number four, do not have a cheat meal every single weekend. Guys, I tried cutting for my first show and every single Friday night I'd eat a cheat meal. But it wasn't just like a cheat meal, it was like an all out slaughter of just going and you know, the entire day was just ridiculous. I'd be eating so much bullshit, I'd pretty much completely counteract my entire week worth of work and it just, it didn't mean anything. So all my dieting had uh, you know little to no effect on my weight loss because I was just eating like shit for a whole weekend and it just, it didn't, it didn't work out for me. I ended up hitting the stage, definitely not ready. I was never lean enough in that cut. Um, it was an unsuccessful one to put it uh, bluntly. I mean, I did get down from 180 to 150, but I need to lose about five to 10 more pounds before I was gonna look shred. If you're using the If It Fits Your Macros diet, which is what I do and has worked for me several times, you know, you can satisfy your cravings for pizza or ice cream or these bad foods that you have, and you can just fit it into your day-to-day -day calories and your macros and just not eat something here or there or just save room for it until the end of your day when you can actually enjoy it before you go to bed or something. You don't have to have a cheat meal every single weekend and just destroy your caloric deficit for the week. You don't have to go full-on freaking fatty and go to KFC or McDonald's and just destroy every meal you can. You want to use it as like a tool to refeed your body. So you got like a, you want to get some heavy deadlifts and you know, you can 
plan a refi day on like a certain Friday, say you wanna do it Sunday night before your lift on Monday, and you can just use that as a tool to help your body get you know a better pump, better a better workout, and so you can feel like nice and full and not like you know weak and struggling. So do not cheat every weekend. Trust me, I have fucked that one up real bad. And my fifth and final tip, do not rely on supplements. People, there is no magic pill. There is no shortcut. The time spent will be shorter with knowledge, consistency, and hard work. That's the secret. Show up every day. The reason they say 80% of the physique is diet is because it's true. You need to focus on your diet and not just fat burning supplements and hitting the gym hard and then eating whatever you want. You have to track your macros. You gotta make sure you're in a calorie deficit. That's all you have to do, guys. And then just every day, you do that, you do that, you do that, you do that. Boom, you're there. It takes a couple weeks. And if you stay consistent with it and you don't keep screwing up or you know you don't keep going and having these huge cheat meals every weekend, you'll be there and like, you know, uh, several weeks and you'll see, you'll see the difference after like a month, you'll see a crazy difference when you like try all these other different dieting techniques. It'll be crazy the amount of difference you'll see just by being consistent with a, you know, a calorie controlled diet. So guys, do not rely on these supplements that are like fat burners or shred burn, like, you know, shred igniters and stuff like that. Use supplements to your advantage and help you supplement your diet as the name intends. So if like you want some extra vitamins in there, or if you're in a calorie deficit and you want a little bit of a boost, say like a thermogenic or some caffeine, that's totally fine. I get it. I get tired too. We all like energy, you know? Speaking of which, I got some coffee here. I need to sip. They're not gonna burn the fat for you, okay? Those shred burners, they're a nice gesture, but in the end, it, it can be a waste of money. If you just wanna go to the gym, you know, work out and focus on your diet, you can get lean doing that. You don't need those supplements. You can use them to supplement, but do not rely on them. Bonus tip, subscribe, smash the bell, keep watching. I'm gonna be trying to tackle a lot of issues like this, so if you want more help or if you want more tips and details, follow my channel on here, because I'm gonna be posting videos like this hopefully more often and a lot sooner. Guys, I was that guy who ate whatever I wanted and thought I was just gonna get a six pack by just doing crunches every day and hitting the gym hard and you know, just doing some running and stuff. But now I get I can get ripped in a couple weeks and I don't even do cardio. I just show up a couple days in the gym a week. I watch my calories, I watch what I eat, and boom, it's like it's not it's just like science, it's math. That's all it is. It's math. It's not magic, it's math. I've learned from three big cuts on what to do and what not to do and what needs to happen to make things work. I hope all of this helps you guys. Like I said, subscribe and smash the bell. We're gonna be doing more of this kind of stuff, so if you want help, follow this channel. I'll help you out as much as I can. Team Natty L.